Peace and blessings be granted to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. It is your brother Jehoshaphat Israel here in the house that God has made. Family, happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath. Your, your God is a good day today. We could take this day just to reflect on all the different things. I don't want to say trial and error for our weak time, but it, it it's a, to be thankful. Family, I'm saying you got this whole day. To think about how good God been to you, the things that he has done for you, him allowing you to live to see another Sabbath day, family, another Sabbath weekend. He has allowed you to see it, family. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this day that he has given me. Now, the topic, the topic at hand is your amendment rights. Family. Does this change anything? Does it really, you know what I'm saying? If you look at the situation, does it change anything? I don't think so, family, because before the 19th century even came, before 2000s came, people were able to walk around with guns. All I can ask my brothers out there in the world is that if you want to duel somebody, you want to challenge somebody, and that person, they don't they don't want no smoke. They don't want to get into a shootout. Leave that person alone, please. Just leave them alone. They don't want to fight. You know what I'm saying? Leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? Can you can you respect that? Can all the brothers get on one code? Hey, hey, ain't nothing wrong with putting the guns down and putting up your fists and fighting, family. It doesn't really change it. They they think inside of their head that the whole world is going to go down in a puff of smoke because people are able to protect themselves. To be honest with you, what I see, I see a lot of bad people dying, family. And all the, and all the good people that get shot, that don't got a gun on them, that's on them, family. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason why they're sitting there moaning and complaining because more people have guns. All I know is family, I stay in the United States of America, family. And when the cops are not around, it turns into the purge really, really, really fast in these streets, family. It, the purge could happen in broad daylight, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the supper time, the wee hours of the night, family. It can happen to anybody. When you see them people around and they start acting all funny and they start acting all strange and stuff, it's about to go down. <laughs> it's about to go down. And we all know, family, the cops are never there when you need them. So now you have the capacity to actually protect your own self. I don't really see anything changing. That's why I keep on um, humming on this hymn. Uh, put the gun down if you if you want to fight me. You know what I'm saying? If you want to fight me. That goes for anybody out in the world, any brothers that you see, family. If that man don't want to, if he don't want to pick up his, his gun and start shooting, leave him alone. You know what I'm saying? Leave him alone. You know what I'm saying? If that woman don't want to fight, sis, if she if she don't want to fight, she doesn't want to show up at the OK Corral because it was a such thing like back in the 1500s. It'll be two people. They don't get along. The one man, he'll take off his handkerchief, he'll walk up to the other man, he'll take off his glove, and he'll slap him. I challenge you to a duel. And they agree on the appointed time, the date, and all that. Them two men is going to be up over there shooting it out in the streets, just like in the cowboy days, family. They got into something. You know what I'm saying? They got into something. Them two men got into something, and they met in the middle of the street, and they were shooting each other, family. So how... How can you, I don't think anything could change besides from the fact that it's a lot of people, a lot of evil people going to die, family. A lot of pe evil people. It, and then I don't, I don't get it, family. I don't get it. It's a, such a thing as a jacking and a robbery, family. The person walking down the street, some guy jumps out the bushes and says, give me your money. Give me your money. And then the other person like, oh, oh my God, here's my wallet. Here's my keys. Please, please. All that stuff goes bye-bye, family. All of that goes bye bye. You know what I'm saying? That ain't happening no more like that, family, at all. You know what I'm saying? So what bad thing can I can I say about it, family? I'm, I'm thinking inside of my head about damn time, family. About damn time, family. You know how many times when I lived 
in Fresno, California, I go up to the sheriff department. I'll be telling them. I'll be all like, yeah, yeah. I, I want to be. I want to do it the legal way. I want to be able to, to defend my family and defend myself. I went up there like eight or nine times, family, and they denied me every single time I went down there, telling them, hey, hey, hey. I live in a, a horrible neighborhood. It's danger. It's danger over there where I live at. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it'd be danger when you open the car though. You know what I'm saying? They don't care. You know what I'm saying? And they'd be like, you gotta, you gotta plead with these people. Please, please, can I be able to protect myself? And then the sheriff department be like, hell no. Nah. But I do know that it can turn into purge. And it's the United States of America, family. It's a reason. You know what I'm saying? It's a reason. And you, okay, if you're gonna, if you're gonna pay reparations, you gotta let black people be able to defend themselves. Cause a lot of people is gonna be mad about that. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think? That they let it be legal for regular people to to bear arms, family. Why do you think it's a reason? Does nothing happen without a reason in this world, family? So what is the reason? We already know it's purge, family. It is the purge out here in these streets, family. At any time, anybody can get it, family. You got to protect yourself. I remember, family, the first time I ever caught a case, family. I was riding home. I just got out of work, family. I picked up my two little Hebrew boys and we was headed back to my casa, family. We was headed back to my casa. And then I got up to the light on Maple. Was it Fresno Street and Maple? Or was it Maple and Tulare or Chestnut? It was Maple and Chestnut. And for some reason, family, you get to the middle of the light and the light will hurry up and change, family, really, really fast. I, I was thinking in my head, I was like, man, they must. And every time, too, every time the light changed so fast and the cops would be sitting there. That's what we call a speed trap, family. So the police, they pulled me over and they start checking and sniffing around, family. And they found the guns in my trunk, family. They, they gave me four years for that, family. You know what I'm saying? They gave me four years well, actually, it was three years of probation, but when I got to the end, because it was my first offense, when I got to the end of it, they said, oh, this is not good enough. You need to give us a whole nother year. And then when I was in court, the judge, he said, they, they, they just painted me to be a horrible monster. I had two guns in my car. Okay, I had bullets and I had clips and I had all of that, but they were in the trunk, family, and they wasn't even loaded, family. Come on now. The cops are all sniffing and sniffing around like some damn hound dog, sniffing around and looking around. Oh, you got these guns. Oh, you a pl the police officer going to sit there and tell me, he said, the only person that I know that got what you got is the police and the criminals. So when you go outside, that's the only people who got guns is the police and the criminals. What about the, the law biting citizens? Here in America that's trying to defend themselves. Ain't no more fighting no more, family. Ain't no more fighting no more. Unless unless you meet somebody and they say, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, put the gun down. Nigga, let's put, put your hands up. <laughs> put your hands up, Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? Put your hands up. You know what I'm saying? Put, the, put your gun down on the table. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get with it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to catch this right here. No, unless it's that, family. I don't see people fighting anymore, family. I don't see people fighting anymore. And I see a lot of a lot of big people, they're going to leave little people alone now. You know what I'm saying? Because that little person going to pull out that pop, 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 pop all up on them, family. I look at it as a good thing. Okay, I'm going to tell you when people said that I was wrong, family, they said I was wrong. They said, oh, brother Jehoshua Israel, you said that it, you you can bring the guns into the church. You damn right, family. You damn right. I said it, family. I stand by it, family. You know what I'm saying? You damn right. I said that, family. I stand by it. They were like, oh, you wrong, Jehoshua. You said that the preacher's man should have a gun in the church. You damn right. I said that, family. I mean that, family. I'm not playing with y'all family they said oh you wrong brother you wrong brother israel i felt so good family i felt so relieved i was watching this show i don't even it was it was it on gun violence it was on something family and it was five people black people hebrews it was five people in the church family that carried a gun and the preacher man was the most coldest one because he kept his gun in the bible hallelujah family hallelujah family it's a beautiful day family when you can go in the church and i know that there's some brothers in there and they got them guns family you know what i'm saying i, I can pray i ain't got to worry about no dylan rule coming in the church to start shooting everybody i ain't got to worry about that this is the house of prayer family you can get it family you know what i'm saying they said i was wrong for that I don't think so, family. They confirmed it when I seen my brother, man, the preacher, and he kept up. What was it? What was it? A, a, a 45? Yeah, a 45, family. He had that Smith & Wesson in his Bible, family. 
it it, it it brought a warm sensation to my heart, family. It's, it's so beautiful, family. It's just so beautiful, family. I don't understand. And then they're all, oh, Joe, oh, sir. Oh, you wrong, brother. Oh, why you say that the teacher and the preacher and the guy is canceled that should have a gun in the church? Family. Family, it is 2022. There has been over 300 mass shootings in this year alone, and we're barely in the middle of it. What the hell are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, oh, you wrong that the teacher shouldn't have a gun. And, and but what what if our children need to be defended in the in the inside of the schools? I've been I've been harping on this since 2011, family. It's got it, it went all to hell in 2008, and it has slowly progressed into this moment now. There has been over three. Hundred mass shootings here in America, family, since the beginning of this year. Well, Jehosa, what classifies as a mass shooting? Seven people are dead, and there was one shooter. You know what I'm saying? That is a mass shooting right there, family. It is, family. Just like I told y'all three weeks ago, man, protect your family. Protect yourself. I don't care what them people say. You know what I'm saying? It feels so good, family. It feels so good, family. It, it, it really does. If you was walking in my shoes after I served that time, family, it, okay, the stripulations of my of my probation, because it wasn't parole, it was my first offense. They didn't get a chance to lock me up, but the judge, he was sitting in there, he was like, ah, Jehosa, I said point, he was all like, I should point the book at you. If you ever step in my courtroom, I'm going to make sure you do 10 years in prison. He was threatening me, family, he was threatening me, and I am not a criminal, family, I'm a law-abiding citizen, family, I've been working ever since I was knee-high, don't play with me, family. The cops told me the only people that have guns and have what you have is the criminals and the police. I'm not a criminal and I'm not a police officer. I just want to be able to protect myself. Here go the judge. Oh, if you ever come in my courtroom again, I'm going to throw the book at you. And I knew him too. I knew him too because I worked for the court system. Family, years later, I seen him in the hallway. He going to look down at me. Yeah, I'm here, Nick. Yeah, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? It ain't a damn thing you can do about it. So... I think it's a good, it's a good day. You know what I'm saying? I told you the jacker man, he be hiding behind the bushes. He jump, give me your money. Give me your money. You know what I'm saying? He jump out the bushes on you. It ain't no more of that family. Ain't no more of that because I'm telling you, just like I said in the previous video, family, it is a red summer family. It is a red summer. What do you mean? What do you mean? A lot of bad people going to leave this earth this year. They're not going to be playing that this year. Ain't no more fighting like that no more. It's getting alone. Because we know now anything escalate anybody, family, anybody can pull out a gun. Have you seen these kids, family? Have you seen the guns that these kids carry, family? I heard the, I heard the older brother, he like 10 years my senior. He, uh, I heard him on Facebook. He said, he said, he said he had both of his guns in his hands. He was like, man, I'm too old to fight. I'm too old to fight. I don't want to, I don't want to fight you, but I'll put one of these in you. You know what I'm saying? This is the way the world is going. It's purge out here in these streets family but i think it's a beautiful thing and, and you know I, i've been i've been complaining about this for 10 years now y'all didn't hurt <laughs> i've been complaining about this for the longest time family. it's like a celebration last night last night i didn't hear not one good shot in the hood family i was listening family i was listening i was like man i can't wait till my brothers hit this i'm gonna hear a gang of gunshots i didn't hear nothing family it was quiet as a church mouth and these hebrews family they got their fireworks and they ain't even setting nothing on fire family out here in Chicago family from the month from the month all maybe three or four months after the 4th of July. Then they then they finally ran out of their, their fireworks at nighttime family. They be blowing stuff up out here family setting stuff on straight fire family. They be having fun like a mug. If you didn't know now, you know, you need to come out here to Chicago and quit living in them cities family. They tell y'all they be like, oh, well, well, you know, Chicago, but it's, it's gang violence and this and, and, and this and that. Family, you already know. You get 30 black people together, family. About five of them black people don't like the other five. That's what it is, family. Ain't nothing going to change on that, family. It's your people, family. Come be where your people at. Move to a metropolis where it's a gang of your people at, family. We can take it all over, family. Do you know, family, if all the black people that lived in California moved to Chicago, family? You know what I'm just saying, family? Can you imagine that, family? All the black people who live in California moved to Chicago. We would take over this whole state, family. We would. It'd be so many of us out here, family. I know the white people, as soon as they see the California black people coming, the Hebrews, they'd be like, oh, it's time to move. It's time to get out of here. It's too many of them. So, 
I would just like to say, family, to protect yourself. Uh, it's a good day, family. Go out and get yourself some firearms, family. Get yourself some clips. Get yourself some firearms. Practice. Don't go out there not knowing what you're doing. If you get into a situation, train, family. Train. Go to the gun, uh, the gun place and pop off a couple of rounds, family. Get some tips from some of these people and stuff, family. It's purging these American streets. So this is how I look at your Second Amendment right, family. I'm, I'm thinking in my head about time, family. About time, family. Uh, anything else on the same topic? I'm gonna go get me a gun tomorrow, family. I ain't playing, 